Around 700,000 Europeans are diagnosed with Crohn's disease each year. Specialists at University College Hospital in central London are exploring new ways to detect the disease and help patients cope with its symptoms. It really is a, a very nasty disease and people need to be able to uh, realise that and just don't have the, the mentality of, oh, it's just going to the bathroom all the time because it, it's so much more than that. You get um, Crohn's arthritis, well, I've had it where my hands have literally seized up. I've got it in my hip as well. Um, also, I've had a, a Crohn's ulcer in the eye, which basically it, it knocks your immune system even more, so you're so susceptible to everything. The condition causes inflammation of the intestine and symptoms can vary. I had horrendous stomach pains. I had horrendous diarrhoea and I was also bleeding. So obviously something wasn't quite, quite right. At the end of the day, they operated on me, but they thought it was a split bowel. So effectively, they opened up the bowel and um, sent me on my way. But the pains just got worse and worse. It probably took a good two, maybe even three years before they found that it was Crohn's disease because I went through so many tests. Crohn's disease is usually diagnosed through x-rays or invasive techniques like endoscopy or colonoscopy. But at this hospital, researchers from a European project are testing brand new ways to diagnose it using the latest available medical imaging technology. Radiologists are testing magnetic resonance to look for the signs of local bowel wall thickening, a common early sign of the disease. If we look in this example here, we can see an abnormal leap of small bowel here. And this is uh, affected by, by Crohn's disease. It's much thicker than the uh, normal small bowel um, adjacent to it. From the patient's point of view, this is a very safe test. We don't use X-ray radiation, so therefore there's no long-term uh, disadvantage to the patient. Magnetic resonance images offer 3D capabilities and can be matched with computer models, which can predict some physiological processes in the patient's body. A big help for gastroenterologists to prescribe the more appropriate treatment for each patient's particular needs. We're now in a position where we can make a, a fairly confident radiological diagnosis. The patient has Crohn's disease, the patient has stenosis, the patient has fibrosis, the patient has inflammation. If we can then semi-automate that by the computer analysis using all the various scientific algorithms, that are encompassed within the program, then we stand a chance of, of fine-tuning that even further. Researchers hope these new and more accurate methods will keep sufferers better informed of their condition, which is very much welcomed. The research is fundamental. You know, we've got to find out what causes it and if there could be a cure eventually, especially for the youngsters now, because it's heartbreaking to see so many young people with it. We're doing more fundamental research, enabling that, that um, a patient um, is more accurately assessed. And um, I think that this technology will, will be used in future in the next, let's say, four years. Experts hope the same computer imaging will soon help tackle other inflammatory bowel diseases like ulcerative colitis.